For the last time this year, let's review the latest Canva features. Today, I have eight new features. Two of them are minor changes in the interface of Canva, so not game changing, but some other features are going to get your attention for sure. So let's get to it. What is up everyone, Ronnie here. Welcome back to the channel. This is almost the end of the year, but Canva still ships new features consistently like they've been doing for a very long time now. So this is What's Hot episode 24, and we are going to dive deep into everything that's new, starting right now with this new feature. The first new feature I want to talk about today has to do with downloading your notes when you download your slides, when you download your presentation. So let me jump into a Canva presentation I have open right here and show you first what the notes look like. So the notes are this part right here and you have this button right here at the bottom of your page. When you click on it, it shows your notes section. So here I have a couple of slides in this presentation. It's a webinar I have prepared and as you can and see my slides have notes all right so what you can now do if you hit the share button right here and download button so here by default your presentation will be suggested to be downloaded in a pdf format so this feature will only work if you download your design as a pdf okay first you need to have some notes written in that note column and second you need to download it as a pdf so once you find your pdf options you now have the option to include your notes you see it's a little checkbox right here that you have to tick so include your notes and then you download your slides. I'm not going to download all 67. So let me just show you a sample of this. I'm going to download page seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, try this up. And there you go. I can show you the PDF is downloaded right here. And this is what it looks like. I will have my slide right here. It looks like a document with my slide on top and my notes at the bottom. On the second page, I will have my second slide and underneath that second slide, I will have the notes from page two. So that's pretty cool. I love that we can now download our presentation with these notes because some of them are valuable, They're not just like an aid we are using for presenting, but we put a lot of time preparing them, researching them, and maybe we could recycle this into some other type of document. So thank you Canva for allowing us to download our notes together with our documents. As someone who uses notes a lot for my webinars and presentations, I clearly see the value of such a feature. So well done. And now moving on to new feature number two and three, which both have to do with the Canva ecosystem, what we call the global Canva family. So the family of apps and websites, basically everything that belongs to Canva. So the second new feature I want to introduce to you today has to do with Pixabay, member of the Canva family. Pixabay is a stock photo video website. So what you can do, what the feature allows you to do is to retouch a photo from Pixabay directly into Canva and to do so in an anonymous mode so you don't even need to have a Canva account to be able to do this. Let me hop over Pixabay to show you how this works. So this right here is the home page from Pixabay. You can see I am logged in but this would also work if you're not logged in and I'm just simply going to search for let's say India. I always have like beautiful photos when I travel to India so let's see yeah, these are really nice. Let's find a photo that we really like. I like the sadhu right here. Let's grab this little girl right here. She, she looks cute and she has a nice light lighting her. So I like this photo. Let's click on this. So in order to retouch your photo from Pixabay directly into Canva, you would have to click on the free download button. And so from here, you can download this photo in a variety of resolutions, but right here at the bottom, you have this new button that says retouch with Canva. This is what we want. So I'm going to use that. And you see the photo is going to transfer over to Canva. And this will work even if I'm not logged into Canva. Even if I don't have a Canva account, I will get into the anonymous editor, which is not the case right here because I'm logged in. But if you're not logged in, you will get into an editor similar to this one, just an anonymous editor. And so right here now I can start editing this image. 
you see I can put some adjustments on the image, I can adjust every single setting. So this is a clever way for Canva to bring traffic, to bring new users into Canva from Pixabay, maybe tap into that Pixabay user base and bring these people, show these people the Canva experience so that they might want to start designing with Canva, create an account with Canva. So let me show you how it works if I am not logged in, okay? So I'm gonna come back to my home page. I'm gonna log off sign out of my account. There you go. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to retouch this photo with Canva from here. Again, transferring over to Canva. And there you go. This is the anonymous editor. I will have a couple of tutorials showing up right here because this is designed for people who have maybe never seen Canva before. So they will have a, a quick tour, a couple of pop-up windows. I'm going to skip the tour, but show you that you can definitely adjust this photo in the same way with the adjustment settings the filters, you can crop it, you can flip it, and you can even download it, I believe. Let me see, yeah, I can download the image without having to create a Canva account. I am not logged in, as you can see right there. The only thing is that if you want to save that design to Canva and come back to it later, you will need to create an account. So a very smart way from Canva to bring people over to their platform. All right, moving on to new feature number three already. And talking about smart ways to bring new Canva users to the platform, here is another one. And this one is called Add Design to Canva from Remove.bg. Okay, Remove.bg is this precursor, I would say, of the background remover, the image background remover, and then Canva purchased remove.bg, the website, and basically integrated this feature into Canva. And this became that famous pro feature that we all know and love. So the background remover, and typically users who don't want to upgrade to Canva Pro, who don't want to pay for Canva Pro, but still want to use the background remover, which is a pro feature, can use the website remove.bg. So this is something quite known in the Canva community. And so this is the website right here. Remove.bg is the URL to access this website and you can upload an image. The only caveat when you use this free website to remove the background of an image, and I'm just going to select an image right here uh, to show you. Let's use this image of me surprised right here. There you go. The background has been removed. I can download this image like so. And you will see the image is here. It looks good, but it's a little bit blurry. And that is because remove.bg doesn't allow you to download in the highest resolution. So that's the trick, like you can use it for free, but you have it in relatively low resolution. Now, the novelty here, the smart way to bring people, to bring user using remove.bg back to Canva is this button right here. So now that I have removed the background of my photo, I can add this to a design. You see this button right here add design so i'm going to click here and this will open this window right here design anything with your image okay so it gives me a bunch of different document types that i can choose from I can design a t-shirt a flyer facebook cover anything really so let's try an instagram post so if i click here create your free design this will bring me back to Canva or bring people to Canva for the very first time. Maybe they don't know Canva. So here again is the same type of logic as the bringing people from Pixabay. Here, Canva is trying to bring people from remove.bg. So there you go, my photo is right here. And I can show you by adding a background that there is no background on this photo. I can zoom in, but my photo is still of relatively low resolution. I mean, it's not too bad, but the resolution is not optimal. If you want the full HD resolution, you either have to pay for Canva Pro or you have to pay on remove.bg to buy credit on the website so you can download in the highest resolution. So again, very clever way of bringing users to Canva. All right, guys, I hope you are enjoying this tutorial so far. If you do, leave us a like. This is the YouTube way of saying thank you. It helps us as creators. And for you, it's just a one second click. So yeah, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, let's switch gear. Let's switch category and talk about UI UX changes. When I say UI UX, I refer to user interface 
that's the I, and user experience, that's the X. And these are basically changes in the way Canva looks. So let's start with two minor changes. The first one has to do with a slight change of name of a specific button in the editor. I'm talking about the more button, all right? So basically the more button used to be right here at the bottom of the editor. It used to be called more, and now this button is called apps, which makes a lot more sense in my opinion because Canva is opening up this ecosystem of apps that people can develop so that they can connect to Canva, the core Canva experience, I would call it. So that is basically it, a change of name of the more button now called apps. There is another minor change Canva just made in the user interface, and this one has to do with whiteboard. So let's jump over a presentation right here, I'm using my hamster presentation. And this one is called scaled grid dots on whiteboards. So the first thing we need to do right here is to expand this slide to a whiteboard. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I just clicked on the little uh, three dot button right here, expand to whiteboard, or you can collapse the whiteboard. That's new too, like you can get out of the whiteboard. So I like that we now can get out of it. So the feature has to do with these dots right here you know, and you can scale them. Meaning if you zoom in or out, the dot experience will remain consistent at any dimension in terms of the overall size of everything on your whiteboard. So this is a small tweak, but I think we will find it useful if we use these whiteboards quite often. Let's continue discovering what's new in the user interface, the user experience in Canva. And I have a new feature right here called auto adjust images. So this one has to do with the model photo editor. Remember we talked about this in the previous What's Hot episode. So first of all, let me show you how to access this model photo editor. Now this will have to start from your Canva homepage, okay? Because in order to access this model photo editor, you need to get into your project. So click on projects, click on images right here, and you should see all of your photos, your images that you have uploaded into Canva so far. All right, so we see here my two images, this one from uh, remove.bg and this one from Pixabay. So I'm going to use the photo of the girl right here. And what I want to show you is this auto adjust feature that Canva just added to this module. So for that, Head over to the second tab right here that says adjust and you will see this button right here that is a little bit of Canva magic that will help you with the magic wand adjust the settings, all of these settings so you have your white balance, light, color, texture, etc. All of these will be auto adjusted for you by using this button. So let's see what it does and boom. There is much more light. Brightness has been added to this image. You see uh, quite a bit of brightness. Some contrast has been reduced as well. See, a bit of shadow has been added, etc., etc. So this is pretty cool. I like the auto adjust and you can compare. You can compare the before and after using this compare button right here. So see, it was quite a bit darker to be honest. So I think Canva did a good job. I would have a little bit less brightness maybe not too much, but you can always fine tune manually. So there you go. So that is the new feature, this auto adjust button that Canva added to the model photo editor. Let's hope we can find this feature in the editor as well very soon. And guys, since we are already hanging out right here in the model photo editor, let's talk about another new feature that has to do with this model photo editor. This one is the ability to sharpen your images. Indeed, Canva just added a new adjustment slider called sharpness. So let's discover it. For that, we will be using a not so good photo of mine. So remember this one coming from Remove BG, the website in lower resolution. So I'm gonna be opening up this one right here. And you can see, if I zoom in, it's not super sharp, it's not super crisp. So again, going to the second tab right here that says adjust, not auto adjusting this one, but I'm gonna scroll down a bit until I find the texture section of the adjustment sliders. And the first one right here is called sharpness. So I'm going to increase the sharpness of this photo and you see, 
my face is now a little bit sharper. Yes, it's grainier because adding sharpness artificially will always give you a little bit more grain in your photos. But if you don't zoom in too much, it doesn't look that bad. So let me show you the before and after using the compare button right here. So I'm gonna click on it and you see this is the before, quite blurry around the eyes we can see. And I'm gonna release my click and you see uh, the effect of the sharpened feature. It has sharpened this image. Yes, decreased a little bit in the quality, but again, if we're not that zoomed in, we aren't going to notice. So I love that we now have this extra adjustment slider and giving us more control, more granular control over our photo editing experience, I would say. So this slider sharpness is the new feature in the photo editing module at the moment. I also hope we will see this very soon in the adjustment settings in the Canva editor itself, so within Canva. All right, guys, I have one more feature to go. This one has to do with stickers. So I would put that in the video bucket because it's moving things. And I'm talking about some new Lottie sticker sets and how to find them. So you probably know about the Lottie stickers by now because we've been talking about them on the channel. The Lottie stickers are basically the second generation of stickers in Canva. They can be recolored and they have a higher resolution. They are in the SVG format. You can scale them. They don't lose in quality. So what I want to show you right here is a couple of sets we have discovered and also point you in the right direction if you want to find more of these Lottie stickers in Canva. The keywords you will have to use to be more precise. So first and foremost, the way to find them, you will need to be in your Elements tab. Okay, Elements tab. So I'm going to paste the first code right here. Boom. And these are Lottie stickers. So some nice little stickers, Black Friday clearance for sales, for basically e-commerce, commercial type of stickers. And they have a bunch of them right here. And what I like about them, for example, let's use this triangle, right? Or hot sales or a hot video like this one. So hot sales right here, that's the Lottie sticker. And again, as usual, you can change these colors Let's change the orange for this green right here and uh, the yellow for maybe something that would go with this green, this purple right here. So yeah, this looks good. I can really recolor my sticker. So these are uh, lot of stickers. You see, I can make them really big. So this set right here is something you can screenshot this keyword right here to find this set. I'm going to show you another one and then I'm going to point you to two resources that have been created on this channel so you can find 21 of these sets. All right. So the second one I want to show you, let me copy my code right here. I'm going to delete this code and I'm going to paste it here. There you go. Boom. Another set of Lottie stickers. This one has to do with icons and emojis. So again, this is the keyword you would want to paste in your elements. Okay. And I'm going to use this arrow, for example, pointing in this direction of the sales. So I'm going to try to add the same colors as in my other Lottie sticker right here. I'm going to use these two colors. So these are consistent. And there you go. I have my Lottie stickers. So now some of you are probably wondering, how do I find these sets? Like Ronnie, where does that code come from? Well, this code is a code that Canva gave us as Canva verified experts. So we can show the new sets as they are being released on Canva to you guys, to our community. So we will be creating regular content. And Diana is mostly the one of us who will be presenting these sets of Lottie stickers to you. And she has already published two of these videos on the channel with a total of 21 Lottie sticker sets like these two I just showed you. And to make it easy for you guys, I'm going to link the first one of these two videos Diana made about the Lottie stickers right here. And if you want to see more Canva new features, we have our What's Hot playlist right here at the bottom. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.